So this is the outside of our sugar shack. You may notice that it's a little bit different from other buildings, and that's because we have a cupola. So up here, we have our two windows that we open to let the steam out. As the water boils off of the sack, it goes up into the air and it comes out these windows. You'll also notice we have the chimney up there. So when this is in full boil, you'll see the smoke coming out of the chimney and the steam coming out of the windows of the cupola. We just collected some sap from the trees and we're going to do our first filtration. So you can see on top of our sap collection bucket, we have a, our first filtration and it's got spit. It, this catches our bugs, little pieces of bark, things that come into the bucket. We collect all of our buckets and we put it into this one big storage container. And then when we're going to start our oil to make maple syrup, we do another filtration. This one has smaller holes and it's going to catch more particles as it goes through. This is the first of many filtrations. Here we have our evaporator. You can see in here we got our fire going and it's heating up the sap in our evaporation pan. Um, and then this steam that's coming up is going up through the open top of the cupola and we have our it's also heating up our sap in the warming pan so we're going to take the sap that we just filtered right here remove the filter and we're going to pour it into the warming pan This allows the sap to heat up before we add it to our boil. So once we're ready, we'll turn this lever and the sap in the heating pan, once it's nice and warm, will be added to the boil. It's going to add the sap to this end. And as more sap is added and slow, slowly, it's going to go through the evaporator and there's holes in here and it's gonna come all the way to the end and over here will be the sap with the most amount of sugar in it. So we're going to use our refractometer to test how much sugar is in the sap and the syrup. So we're gonna start with the sap and just check. This is the sap from that warming pan. It says that our sugar for the sap is 1.5. So then we've added it here into our evaporator and let's test where it is right here. It says we're at 25.2. We need to get to 66 to have true maple syrup. So we're going from 1.5 to uh, to 66% sugar. So this means that this still has a pretty long time to boil left. We have so you can see that the, the sap in here is 25% sugar. It's starting to be uh, a little bit more of a color to it and it's still pretty liquidy like water. So we do have a pretty far way to go. So this whole process takes about eight to 10 hours from sap to syrup. Right here we have our storage container. If you, this holds about 50 gallons of sap. So if you imagine it being full up to this point with sap, that's about 40 gallons. It takes 40 gallons of maple sap to make one gallon of maple syrup. So just look at that in comparison. You need 40 of these to make one gallon of maple syrup. That's pretty crazy. 